This is a multi-use tool. I carry this everywhere I go. It's got a knife. It's got a flashlight on it. It's got a thing that can cut. Uh, there's so many functions, I can't even find it. A thing that can cut a seat belt or a thing that can break glass. That's a multi-use tool. Did you know that faith is a multi-use tool as well? That's what we're going to talk about in this episode 11 of Salvation and Discipleship. Is there a difference? Faith has multiple functions in the New Testament. In fact, you could think of it as two main categories. I bet you could guess what those two categories are. If you've got your study guide, which you can get at simplybelief.com slash grow for free by downloading, go ahead and look at topic number 11. Under salvation, it says faith in Christ for eternal life. And under discipleship, it says faith in Christ for daily life. So, to find out the difference between faith for eternal life and faith for daily life, we're going to start by looking at the salvation category. Let's look at John 6, 47. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me has everlasting life. This is one of the most simple statements about how to get everlasting life in all of the Bible. Jesus says very clearly, for the ones who believe in him, they have everlasting life. Notice he says it in present tense, which is really important. That means that if at some point in your past you believed in Jesus for everlasting life, you have it right now. We might say that's one of the main functions of faith, to bring salvation, when that faith is in Jesus. But now we find a second big category for the purpose of faith. One of its other functions is what we might call faith for daily life. Another way to say it might be faith at work. Let's look at Galatians 2.20 to find out what that looks like. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Here we find in the same verse two different purposes for faith. The first line, he says... I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. That is a statement of salvation. He's saying that he was crucified with Christ, which is a metaphor for saying that his old self died with Christ, and now he has everlasting life. It's a metaphor for the resurrection in spirit and the future resurrection in body. So he's pointing out that one of the main purposes of faith is to bring salvation. But then he shows a second purpose for faith. Let's see what he says here. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So we find the second purpose of faith, that it is for living. We might say it's faith at work. So faith for salvation is different than faith for daily life. He points out that although we have been saved and we have everlasting life in Christ, we still have to finish out this life in the flesh. Our flesh is broken and addicted to sin. Consequently, we need help. We need faith in order to finish this life in the flesh well. So faith for daily life is about our ability to obey. And that ability comes from Christ. When we put our faith in Christ for salvation, we also get the ability to continually have faith in Christ for a daily life, for obeying Him. I like to think of it like the more you try to obey, the better you'll get at it. The more you try to hear the Spirit, the more keen your ears will get. And so faith for daily life is all about discipleship. So faith in Christ for eternal life is about salvation. But faith in Christ for daily life is about discipleship and how we live. To go deeper on this subject, I'd encourage you to get a copy of my book, Salvation and Discipleship, Is There a Difference? We also have other materials that go along with that. Go to simplybelief.com grow to get subscribed to this Bible study and get notifications on new episodes. I appreciate you watching this episode. I hope that you go out and use your faith in Christ for daily life to live well today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.